Morning everybody. Um, as you know, I've just got back from Scotland. So what I thought I'd do um, is show you my workspace and how I develop and so on and so forth. So here is, um, I'm onto the second batch. So here's some I've done earlier. Um, these are from Holy Island on the last day. Uh, you won't be able to see properly there, but what I'll do is I'll drop one of the stills in from the light box of, of one of these. Uh, so now we're on to the second batch. So I've got all the second batch ready to load from here. Um, and also I've got all my chemicals up to temperature and my chemicals ready. So the next step is to load these into the tank and then go through the process of um, developing. So I'll be back to you when I've loaded these up. So I've got all my images loaded up in here. It holds four. This is brilliant actually, this, um, this developing tank. I'll talk about that later. But anyway, I've got four four by four, uh, four by five um, negatives in there, okay? So I always use prepared water uh, at 20 C, so I wash the negatives first. From there, I put developer in, from there I stop it, and then from there I fix. But I'll talk you through it as I go. So with these, you've got to open both these up. It's a bit awkward to fill, but it's pretty good. So this is the water, just to wash. So, two of it out, bit too much in there. So that one goes on, which is the red first. Then you have to squeeze really hard to put that one on a minute, so I'll wash these for a minute and for the first about 10-15 seconds, maybe longer, it doesn't really matter when you're washing it, just to just to warm the negatives up and warm the tank up, also what it does is it, it, it opens up the gelatin so that when you put the chemicals in it stops bromide drag and it stops one or two other little bits and bats so um, I always do that as a starter. So, um, once a minute's gone, uh, no, two minutes, sorry, it's me. So once two minutes have gone, um, I'll empty it out. So, let's get the Debbie. Um, the developer I'm using at the moment is ID11. Personally, it's my stock developer. Um, I really like it. It's exactly the same as D76, there's no difference. It just happens to be ID11, which is Ilford. So, we're coming up uh, to a minute and 15. I'll stay with you um, until I put the developer in. So going back to this tank, I'll give you um, the name of the tank. Um, a bit later on in, um, it's, I think it's the SP 4x5, it's pretty good anyway, it's probably the best that's out there at the moment because you can put four sheets in and you're only using 475 ml of, of, uh, of chemicals which is really really economical. So we're coming up to 50 seconds, 1 minute 50 seconds, so I'm now getting it ready, opening both. Empty it out, you'll see the colour change. Look at the colour of that. So, as I say, it just opens the gelatin and allows the developer to go straight in. I always do that. Now we're loading the, uh, now we're loading the developer. The ID11, 475mm. First on. When I put the first on, I stop it. Um, second one on, squeezed, and then just five times I invert. I do that every minute, and I always bang it to get rid of the air bubbles, any air bubbles that are in the negatives it'll get rid of those so you won't have any spots. So that done, um, 
I'll bring you back in in about uh, six minutes when this is ready. So we're here, around about five minutes twenty. Um, I'm just, and then obviously we're going to use a stop bath. Uh, so once we've developed, um, I have a stock bath which I'm going to use to stop the developing process. So we're coming up to 40 seconds to go. Um, this is called the SP445, um, but as I say, it's brilliant. I wouldn't have anything um, ever again really other than this because it's just brilliant in every way. So, here we go, six minutes. So I've taken both off. Empty the developer. So once all the developer's gone, we then put the stop bath in. Vent cap on first, squeeze. So, invert. I invert usually for about 30 seconds with this stop. Um, it just stops the developer, uh, development process. <coughs> so, in a minute, I'll empty this and, and put the fix in. Um, I normally fix for around about um, five minutes. So, 25 seconds, that's okay, again, bang. Make sure there's no air bubbles. Get my funnel. Just check the temperature quickly. Another 15 seconds to go. Turn the clock around for you a little bit. So here we go. Time to get rid of the stop bath. The great thing about the stop and the fix, you can reuse it. Um, I reuse it maybe four or five times and then just top it up. Um, it's pretty good that way because it, it seems to last an awful lot longer. So, and it's a lot more economical. So in with the fix. The only problem with this is you can't see where you're filling. But you get used to it sometimes, I've just missed a little bit there, but you get used to it, you, you get used to hearing it. Um, so, back on with the vent, squeeze really hard. Set the timer again. So again with the fix, I'll invert for the first um, 15 seconds or so, and then at least 5 to 10 um, inversions every minute. Getting rid of any bubbles. So I will see you back here uh, when we're ready to wash. So our 5 minutes are up. So I'm now going to empty the fix. Fix goes back in here, and then I'm going to go on to, to wash. So I um, I have some pre-prepared water here, um, which is at around about 20. Um, obviously, it's winter, and it's very very cold. Is our water here? I mean, incredibly cold. So. Um, I don't really like to start it off by um, putting it straight with the cold water, but anyway, I tend to wash with this pre-prepared water in, in the tray. Just keep, uh, keep pouring it in. In fact, I can do it that way.
So I'll carry on washing like this for a good few minutes now. Um, so I'll see you when the washing process is over. So we've now washed. Um, so what I can do is have a quick sneak peek and looking at those, they're absolutely perfect, bearing in mind there's two together, so they look a bit um, black, but they're absolutely perfect. So, I'll slot that back in. So now what I'm going to do after I've washed, is put an anti-static wetting agent in. So this is Ilfosol, and, and what Ilfosol does, you don't need a lot. Um, just fire it in. And what it does is it, um, any drying marks or anything like that, it just gets rid of all that. Um, you can use washing up liquid, um, the same, um, but I don't really do that. I used to, but, you know, this stuff is not really expensive and it lasts ages because you're using just a few mil every time, so it lasts forever. So, it's, but washing up liquid is just as good. If you're on a budget. So it comes out like, yeah, like it's being washed and washing up liquid. And then from there, just a quick further uh, rinse to get it all off. As you can see there, give that a couple of minutes. And then it's time to hang and dry. So I will show you the results after we've hung and draw them. After, draw them, after we've um, Hang the negatives up in the dryer for them to dry. I'll show you the results later. So here are just a few of the finished negs um, from the last day, really. Which is oh, this sort of those two are from the last day, and then there's two shots of the waterfalls there, both with different filters on. So. Um, and I'll show you the scans at the end. So there you have it. That's the processing done. Um, then on to printing the next one. Bye for now.